Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I've got a new haircut. So today's video, as you would have seen from the title, is all about plopping. This is the first time I've plopped and um, it was a little bit of a fail, not going to lie. But in the end, we got there. We got there. So if you want to see how I plopped my hair, make sure you stay tuned. I can't promise amazing results from this routine because I'm still perfecting it. First time trying it. But I hope you enjoy the video. Blah, blah, blah. I hope you enjoy the video regardless. And thanks for watching. Love you guys. So just a quick disclaimer, originally I thought this was a fail and I didn't like the way my hair looked but by the end of it I absolutely loved my hair. It was so voluminous, it had so much bounce, so much shine and so much definition so this is a great routine, make sure you keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm out of the shower and as per usual my hair is a mess because I let it dry in a really crappy bun and I've been running my fingers through it like crazy whilst I put makeup on. For you, I put makeup on just for you guys. <laughs> um, so I'm going to basically re-wet my hair because you were supposed to have wet hair straight out of the shower when plopping. So I definitely suggest doing this straight out of the shower before your hair dries. But for the sake of this video and filming purposes and setting up and all that stuff, my hair is a little dry. So we're going to re-wet that and to spare me that foul feeling of um, wet hair on my back, I'm just going to pop my towel down. So I'm going to just start wetting down my hair is the first step. Now I don't want it soaking wet because I want to keep a little bit of volume. If you style your hair soaking wet before plopping, you're going to have extreme definition. Um, so if that's the look you're after, make your hair soaking wet. But if you want a little bit more volume, which I like, um, somewhere in between wet and damp is probably a good starting point. I just realized this is the first time you guys would have seen my new haircut. Well, hopefully this plopping routine turns out nicely so I can show you the real cut. Um, but as you can see already, it's significantly shorter. We've got bangs. Okay, so I think my hair's at a pretty good stage now. As you can hear, it's got a lot of moisture and water in it. Um, but that is a good thing for plopping that I'm pretty sure anyway. So I'm going to take my Denman brush because I want really nice clumpy defined curls today. My sister always leaves so much hair in the brush. <sighs> anyway, I'm just going to just quickly run this back so I can part my hair down the center very roughly. And I'm just going to pull the hair away from the scalp so that we're getting volume whilst plopping. Now the Denman brush is great because as you can see it breaks the hair up and clumps sections together to form great curls but it still like leaves your hair um, separated. That didn't make much sense. So blah, 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 blah. Okay next steps with plopping are to apply your product and most people go a little bit over their regular amount of moisturizer, so leave in conditioner or cream when plopping. But my hair's quite thin already, so I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm using Bondi Boost Curl Boss um, Styling Cream. You guys know this is definitely a favorite of mine. And I like to start by raking this through my head gently, but I don't wanna pull the curls too much. So I'm just going to really gently rake this through. Don't forget to focus a little bit on your root without going too heavy there too because otherwise it will be a bit flat. So make sure you add products but not too much. But I think the purpose of plopping is I've seen it mainly on two, type 2 hair to enhance waves. Um, but a great thing about plopping is if you are a curly girl, you know how hard it is and how long it takes to dry your hair. So this is supposed to amp up that process. And also, it's a, a good overnight routine. You can plop your hair overnight so that, you know, you wake up with your hair already styled rather than waking up super early to diffuse, which takes a lot more time. So, um, by plopping your hair, you're going to get more definition and your hair's going to dry quicker as well. And it just is for convenience 
Um, so I'm surprised this is the first time I've tried it. But yeah, I've seen it mainly on type 2 hair and, well, I've got type 3A hair. So, um, I'm pretty sure it will work really well for me as well. And now I'm just going to kind of scrunch that product. That's a good sound. It means it's, you know, really nicely moisturized. I'm going to scrunch into the, um, the crown too. And now for plopping, I'm more of a mousse girl normally, but I think a gel is going to work best for plopping, especially um, after all the videos and research I've done. They highly suggest using a gel if you want extra hold, which I always do because I need that volume. Um, so I'm using the Aura Curl Jelly, but another really great one that's a little bit cheaper is um, the We Dad um, Climate Control Gel. That's really good. I'm just going to take some of that gel. No, we're not going to rake this through at all, we're just going to scrunch um, to enforce a little bit of hold and also keep out the frizz. So I really like this gel a lot. It's a little bit expensive, they kindly gifted it to me, um, but I really like a whole heap of the Aura Girl products, they're so good. A lot of people ask me for a routine where we don't focus as much on volume, so um, I might do one of those in the future, however... I will tell you, all I suggest is, you know how I shake my hair like crazy at the end of a video? Don't do that. That separates the curls and like gives it more volume. So if you're not shaking out the curls and separating the hair, you're going to have less volume and more definition if that's what you're after. Okay, I'm going to scrunch into the crown. Flip upside down, give it a scrunch for good luck. So now, I'm pretty sure we're ready to start the plopping process. Um, how am I going to film this? Cool. I hope you can see this a little bit better. So we've got the long sleeve t-shirt. I'm going to have the sleeves closest to me. And what you're going to do is you flip your hair over, and this is the plop. So you plop. <laughs> so I'm just going to plop a few times. <laughs> this is so straight. Okay. So I'm going to plop my hair down and what I'm going to do is roll this section up towards my head. Now I'm going to get this and wrap it around my head so I fold it over and tuck it in kind of at the ears and take this, the long sleeves. This around the front of my head. You can wrap it at the back, whatever you would like. So now I believe my hair has been plopped. <laughs> now there's a few different ways you can plop, guys, in terms of wrapping and tying. This is the first time I've done it, so don't judge the technique. Don't judge me. Um, so I'm just going to see how this turns out. Hopefully it's correct. Um, I don't have that much hair, so I can feel all the curls in there. Um, secure nicely and so I'm gonna leave this in for about let's say 30 minutes watch a TV show make some food whatever you want to do and then I'm gonna come back show you what it looks like and finish off with diffusing uh, and then my hair should be done I'm hoping it looks really good so that you guys can also do this routine I'm hoping it's not a fail okay guys so I'd say it's been probably 30 minutes I'm a bit nervous, I'm not going to lie, but let's just see the reveal. So I had to move because the sun is on that side of the room. Oh yeah, I mean, nice. I probably just could have kept it in like for hours and hours and then let it dry. I mean, my hair's still like extremely, extremely, extremely wet. Um great definition here i think if i left this in for hours it would look amazing but just for the sake of this video i'm going to finish off with diffusing and hope that it turns out really nicely i think it will um i will say i think plopping may be better for me as an overnight thing my hair takes ages to dry and unless i'm home all day i don't necessarily have like eight hours to dry the hair in the plopping shirt thingy so I'm gonna diffuse. Ugh, can't be bothered diffusing. 
These girls are so juicy and thick. Whoa. So I'm just looking in the mirror. Um, and they're very clumped together. You see that? That's like massive and very spirally. I will say, I noticed that some of the ends get a little janky because of the popping. Notice that my curl pattern isn't actually as tight as usual. It's more spirally and thick. Um, but I still think it's going to look good once we, you know, give it a shake and separate some of those curls. So I'm just going to really slowly separate this because my hair is so soft as well. I normally like a little bit more holes in my hair. Um, I put too much cream in my hair and that is why it's too soft to hold its shape. And the second is maybe I didn't plop for long enough. I don't know. I try to apply a little bit of this and scrunch it in. Okay, getting there now a little bit. Kind of undecided. I just think it's a lot of work. Curly hair is a lot of work either way, so maybe stick to what you know best. Um, maybe next time I'll try plopping for like a longer period of time. Maybe I'll try a mousse. Um, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but I'm not obsessed. I think I need a few tips from you guys on how to make plopping work better for my hair. Okay guys, so it's been a little bit more time now. I'm actually really starting to like the way my hair is looking now that it's not so damp and dry uh damp and wet and that it's more dry it looks really nice the curls are nice and defined i'm getting the volume that i like and um yeah i actually really like how it's looking i added some hairspray though to give it that hold that it needs and get rid of some fuzzy parts um but i would rule this as no not a fail and i think it looks really nice so i just wanted to give you a uh little update on that here you go we can see my hair a bit better here super nice and juicy love the cut and yeah i finally think that um, my hair's looking a lot better than it was before so yeah i really like how we're looking okay okay now it looks pretty good anyway i hope you enjoyed this video um i hope you learned something or maybe you didn't and you just found it funny who knows thanks for watching guys i hope to see you back soon